I'm Kathy Compton Lilly from the University of Wisconsin Madison, and I'm going to talk to you today about a publication that's coming out in the Journal of Literacy Research. In that publication, we look at children who have been involved in a longitudinal study. Right now, the children in their eighth year are participating in the study, but in this paper, we focus on the first three years. So the children were between six and eight years old in this particular study, and we followed them across the three years. All the children were from immigrant families, so there's children in the sample from Morocco, from Korea, from China, um, from, from Mexico, um, and Nepal. So we have children from many parts of the world. And what we're interested in is how they're constructing themselves in terms of their identities. One of the things that we hear in the research is that identities are fluid and multiple, although when we think about young children, we all often don't think about their identities as being intersectional. By intersectional, I mean that their identities relate to not only who they are as, as a child, but also their race, their gender, their social class, the language they speak. And what we found in our research is that children talk about themselves in lots of different ways, and that these ways overlap and inform each other. In this paper, we focus on Liz and Carlos. Liz is from a biracial um, Korean-American family, and Carlos is from a Mexican-American family. And what we try and do is think about how they position themselves, how they identify themselves, and how they reposition themselves over time as they think about their own identities as children. So I'm hoping that this paper contributes to our understandings of the complexities and the nego negotiations that children and immigrant families are engaged in as they think about themselves. Thank you.